How you doing YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with a little bit of a Arono Brewing with Vitamin C and that's their Be My Sunshine. This is a India Pale Ale coming at 6.8%. It says in the back here. We set out to brew a uh, great beer with our friends at Vitamin C and grab some of our favorite hops to make it happen. Be My Sunshine is a straight strata galaxy in mosaic deliciousness. Um, this was canned seven days ago. <laughs> Hyper fresh. Comes courtesy of my boy Justin. He is a GM up there in Arono. He sent off a big old box of beers and we are going to dive into them. Be My Sunshine kind of kind of perfect on point for today. I poured too much. The wind is going to knock that over at some time during this review, just so you know. Uh, because we, it is sunny outside. It's a little windy, but it's a plus 60 degrees in March and I am going to sit outside and drink beer watch this get a little bit light struck i don't care i'd rather sit outside anyway label wise that's cool you know i dig it there's something about it like uh i've seen that before like that font and the background the whole nine reminds me of like a movie poster or something along those lines as far as the beer looks besides my dirty glass mafia i mean it looks all the part of a rich old turbid sucker bright orange sunshine very vibrant very very on the nose Let's see if you can get a nose If I don't like this beer, I'm gonna be angry for one specific reason. A little bit of fruitiness in there, a little bit of citrus, a little bit of tropical fruit, fine. Skanky, danky, garlicky, fucking scallion, oniony, filth. That's what I'm getting on this nose. Oh man, I love that so much. I don't know why people don't do that more often. This, this is just filthy, like mean mugging, like you're just fucking filthy, skanky, garlicky, danky rankiness. Man, I love that shit. And honestly, it's, it's it, for its ABV level, it's probably a little bit below as far as nose, the impact of the nose, but just getting it is that much more electric. And then when you throw in combination, there is that soft fruit underneath, which usually be canceled completely by that rankiness. I think it's going to be quite nice. I'm just diving in. Cheers. Yeah, buddy. It's not as big and bold as I thought it would be but it's definitely there. So when it is there and it's meaningfully there, I'm always gonna be happy. Probably leans a little bit more into like a, um, a tropical fruit mango kind of sorbet kind of thing as far as the fruitiness in there. I thought it was gonna lean a little middle of the road, but it's nice. The mouthfeel on this is epically fantastic. You're talking about that super watery softness. So, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it leans bitter, it leans scallion-y dank as opposed to garlicky dank in the nose. That garlic definitely came to a head, but it's the scallion-y, slightly oniony dank. Here comes the wind. Gotta hold that down. It's a pro move right there. You can hear the truck and the wind coming at the same time. And um, and, and and when you get that little bit of kind of soft tropical sorbet kind of thing going on, I think that, I, I, I'm not saying there's lactose in there, but it's almost like they just went with the tiniest bit of lactose to give that mouthfeel a little bit of softness and even though they don't say it's in there, I kind of think it is, but if it isn't, whatever. I like, love the mouthfeel on it. And it's a really tasty chuggable beer. You're talking about sub 7%, giving me that oniony danky thing that I love so much with and that, that beautiful mouthfeel that I appreciate so much. And every other bit and piece, I'm a happy camper. So there you go. Little, uh, little uh, vitamin C in the book, man. That was pretty fun. Vitamin C and Arono Brewing in the book. Very fun. Is it one of the better IPAs I've had as well? Yes. It's about Rushmore status. Close. Not the close, but it, it just kind of just on the outside looking in, only because it lacked that vibrance and the taste that I want. Sure, 6.8, but it's big enough to give it to me. Valued availability? Don't, no idea. Justin sent these off on the free and leave you with, if you like, well, like this beer. If you like that little onion thing that you don't find all that much. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, and not that it's huge, gigantic, two by four to the feast in here, but it's there. And if you dig that and you miss it like this guy, you will like this. In the mouthfeel and all that other stuff that's pretty good about it, too. So there you go. Review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massif if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little, yeah, Rono and vitamin C right now. Hope we'll see you next time.